Good morning, new 1%. This is Toshi Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell, guys, so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We got these videos every day. Talking about V Chain and Cardano today, guys. Go ahead and hit that like button. I got my hot coffee locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. So, talking about VeChain today, obviously, let's take a quick look at the price. We have not looked at the price of VeChain for a while because there's not really much to talk about. We've just been hovering around this four to six cent mark. We've been here for a while, guys. It's 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 just the nature of things. One thing I do like to, one thing I am noticing here is that this has been one of the longest accumulation phases that we've seen in quite a while if we look back we've been accumulating in this range since january and the volatility has kind of tapered off we've just kind of been level here in this five to four cent range so what that tells me is that whales are accumulating of course they are they're keeping the price stable same thing with bitcoin too Bitcoin, we've been bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down. And, you know, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, uh, to be completely frank with you guys. All right. Uh, whales are holding Bitcoin at about 40K, 30K, 40K in this range. And uh, until a catalyst happens, maybe a big whale comes or maybe some mass liquidations. Uh, if a lot of people put in a lot of shorts and they get liquidated we could see a movement but looks like whales are just holding it here and uh yeah it's gonna take a catalyst but we know we know for a fact that bitcoin can move fast all right that's why these dips buying opportunities in my humble opinion we're just gonna keep stacking staking and chilling you guys do what you want with your money though it's your money and you need it now. Anyway, moving on, guys. Let's take a look at this. We have not taken a look at the upbit volume in a while because <clears throat> we know that upbit is a significant player in the pumps of V chain. So let's take a look at upbit volume right now. Bitcoin is the top level, so the Koreans are not pumping anything right now. Um, when we see volume that's above Bitcoin on the upbit volume here, the Koreans are pumping things. And last time we seen VeChain go up to 25 cents, literally VeChain was at like five, Bitcoin was at like nine, they were pumping Ethereum Classic, they were pumping um, Ethereum, Einsteinium, they were pumping Sandbox, I remember that. So uh, when we take a look at this again, if we do see a VeChain pump, maybe in the next month two and on towards the future um hopefully uh we'll, we'll come back to this uh to this page here and we'll see where the upbit volume is right now v chain is um a little bit of volume about you know six million or six thousand dollars in volume in 24 hours so uh pretty low volume on upbit right now i just think that the markets are waiting to see what happens uh the fed is going to come out i think later this week and talk about raising interest rates and you know when the fed talks about raising interest rates people get scared but i mean if you think a rate hike of a few per a few half a percentage points is a lot you know talk to the homies that lived around in the 80s when interest rates were at like 16 percent I take a 1% interest rate any day over a 16% interest rate. So, I mean, I'm not freaking out, guys. People are freaking out for no reason. Yes, an interest rate hike could affect people with high leverage, but I don't have high leverage. So, you know, it really doesn't affect me much. But anyway, guys, moving on. This is not an interest rate video. Uh, Mad V8. Um, they are doing another mint soon guys march 19th it's the 15th now so if you guys wanted to uh, participate in one of the most popular v chain nft projects um mavi apes they are releasing a new set <clears throat> these are lady apes but they're elementals pretty cool um so a new braid of apes is here 
They're ready to become queens, mad. The Apes Elementals drop on March 19th on World of V pre-sale and whitelist at 5 p.m. UTC. Public sale at 7 p.m. Now, you can flip these bo bad boys. The floor is pretty pretty high for these. Um, actually, let's take a look at the floor real quick. Let me go ahead and pull it up. So, put it up here. This is on World of V. For some reason, the, uh, the images aren't loading up. I don't know why. But... If we take a look here, guys, um, the floor price is about 7,000 7, KV chain. Pretty awesome. So, I mean, uh, I don't know what the price is. Let's take a look with the... Uh, so, three NFTs, uh, price 1,000 chain. So, you could probably get maybe a 6K profit. Uh, and if chain pumps, you know these mad V apes could be worth more in the future. So... Um, hopefully I'll be able to get one. That would definitely be cool if I was able to get one of these, but we'll see. So that's the Mad V Apes news, guys. Moving on. Oh, actually, it did show up here. So let's actually take a look at these. These are pretty cool. This is the original one. Uh, this is the original release, and they have a Mad V Apes Fusion here as well. Pretty cool. Floor price on these is about a uh, 2.8 KV chain, so pretty decent. These are pretty cool too. So, um, yeah, I think they're actually one of the biggest mints on V chain. Uh, these guys and V punks. Um, so, moving on, guys. We got some Mad Viking games. We got a new video out, guys. Uh, looks like it's just a promotional video for Unreal 5, but uh, here's what they post. Mad Viking games, we work hard every day to get closer to our goals. It's gonna be great. V-Chain Foundation, VET, MVG Gems, let's go. Let's take a look at this video. It's short, about 35 seconds long. I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. You know, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately, and it has restored my humanity. Ha ha ha. You'll get it if you get it. Um, it has restored my faith in gaming. So I'm excited to see what Mad Viking Games comes out with, guys. Um, and, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. All right. Uh, Ocean X, Ocean X, we finally have some Ocean X news. Oh my God, it's been so long. It's been so, so long. VUSD uh, is now live for trading on Ocean X, guys. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I, th there aren't really any updates here about Ocean X here, but you could trade it uh, 11 a.m. UTC, um, and to, you could deposit today. Uh, you could deposit yesterday, you could trade today, you could withdraw today as well. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, they just have their shark fin things here. I hope that they come out with something soon, guys, that, you know, really shakes the boots. Because the price right now is, is, is down bad, let's be honest. Moving on. And that's it, guys. I have 145 days left to the next Bitcoin block having, and things are things are definitely moving. Um, so, Bitcoin had a little bit of a spike yesterday, and it kind of dipped back down. So it's pretty volatile. Um, nothing really too crazy going on right now in the markets. Looks like there's a couple of coins pumping. Basic attention token is pumping after Duck Duck goes bungle. They're fumbling the pack. Duck, duck, go completely missed the point of what they're trying to do. So maybe beat bat could be a good, um, a good buy. But 
again, if I'm going to buy Bat, I'm holding for the long, long, long term. I mean, I think that Brave, I use Brave every day. I think that Brave has huge potential to overtake Google in the next maybe 10, 20 years. So this is a long-term model, guys. Just remember that. So uh, still at a good, decent price here. Um, but it just needs to blossom. Um, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Don't really have anything else to say here. I love you guys so much. Don't let your means be dreams. I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.